pan across to the left. And that seemed to be actually pretty responsive. Here in front of me, we have a super cheap pan and tilt camera. This is the OnesView W9. It's only $49.99 in the UK. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how good it is. First, you know the drill, hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this camera. Also, to make things even better, I've put a special discount code for you in the description below. So go ahead and use my Amazon affiliate link to buy this camera. Let's start with unboxing it and having a look at some of the features. It has a 1080p resolution, a viewing angle of 100 degrees, the pan is 350 degrees and the tilt is 95 degrees. It has a built-in speaker, Wi-Fi, and it works between minus 10 to 40 degrees temperatures. So very sorry to those living in extreme cold or extreme hot, you can't use this camera all year round. It also works with Alexa. Unfortunately, I don't have one to test with, but you'll have to take my word that it does. So let's go ahead and unbox, and then we'll go ahead and set it up, and then we'll get it set up outside and see how well it works. So I've gone ahead and quickly unboxed. So I'm just gonna show you what comes inside. So we have the actual camera just here. So if we take a look at this, you've got the tilt, uh, sorry, the pan, the tilt, and the zoom is obviously gonna be within the functions. We have the adapter for the Wi-Fi access, uh, Wi-Fi card just here. So that's your fairly big aerial that you can just screw into just here. That goes in like that. And then depending obviously where the signal is, you, you know, try and point it in that sort of direction. On the back, you've got a network cable. Um, makes me actually wonder whether this powers over PoE. But anyway, you've got the USB cable just here with a USB plug. So that goes in just here like this. You have a network cable. You have some screw templates so you know where you're gonna be screwing it in basically. And finally, you have the instruction booklet. So it just shows you some stuff in here in a few different languages. I think I see French, Italian, Spanish. So that's just there also as well. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and power this on, download the app and get this set up. One thing I did forget to quickly show you was the SD card. So that goes just in here and there's a reset switch in there as well. Going into the app store, you'll see there's the OnesView Cloud app. So we click get, type in your details and then click confirm. Once it's downloaded, you click open and that takes you into the app. So whether you wanna allow alerts, it's gonna ask you to register or sign up. So we click sign up. So I'm just gonna do that and we'll be back. I've signed in now. Uh, be sure to check your junk email just in case it's gone to there. Uh, for the verification code, you then click add device. You can see ones view do of quite a few different cameras, but we're doing the W9 outdoor camera. And we're gonna do Wi-Fi with a QR code. Now it's telling us to check to see that the light on the front is flashing red and blue. So we just need to pop this out on here. And I'm not actually sure how much you can see on the camera, but that is flashing red and blue. So we can click flashing. And then we need to join it to the Wi-Fi. Please point the QR code towards the camera lens and wait for the scan. So I'm not sure if you heard that, but basically we need to point the QR code to the camera. QR code scan is successful. There you go. Probably sure you definitely heard that one. So it scanned the QR code and we- Connecting to the Wi-Fi. There we go. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is connected. There you go. So that's all connected now. So we just let that go off and register and do what it needs to do. The pairing is successful. You can start using the camera now. Quite clear and simple instructions on what you need to do um, or what it does or what it is doing. So quite simple to follow through as a step-by-step. -step. So we're gonna give the camera a name. Uh, I've just called it OnesView W9 Demo. Uh, we're gonna allow it to the local network. And there we go. So if we go to the camera itself, wants to access the microphone, there you go, you can see the uh, feedback there. So we'll turn the sound off for the time being. But this is the camera pretty much. So the app itself is fairly simple. You've got devices, alerts, cloud, 
and me. So you have the option to do a 30 day trial, um, which gives you three cameras extended, gives you five cameras and pro gives you seven cameras. So you have the option to record to the cloud if you want as well. And uh, we'll click me and this is all your local settings. So account security, general security, contact us, FAQ, sign out, uh, local video. So if there's anything that you saved or downloaded, it would be here. Same with the photos and messages. So what we're all more interested in is the device. So we go on here, it's on full HD at the moment, or you can go to SD depending on what you want. So you can see the camera that this is being recorded on. And if we click on console, it is fairly responsive. So there you go, you can see me now. And the image quality, to be honest with you, is not too bad. Uh, you can go sideways, go the other way. And then we'll go back up to the camera again. So I want to now take this outside and see how well it performs during the day and night. Some of the settings along the camera itself. So you've got the camera on and off, the advanced settings. If we go into there, you can see the rotation image. Uh, auto night vision, the frequency, the camera microphone, the speaker volume, the LED indicator, all these settings are all along here. Um, probably the ones that you're more interested in is motion detection. So the full area, so if you want to change it to a little bit of the le uh, a less part of the area, you can do that here. The sensitivity level set to normal and your motion alerts. So you can enable motion alerts for a specific schedule if you want and we'll just turn it on for 24 seven for now. And there we go. So we'll see what alerts we get through on the camera as well. Screen recording in three, two, one, go. So we have the camera mounted up. It's just connected into um, a hard uh, socket outside so it's actually powered up. Um, I have the Wi-Fi plugged in or the aerial on there so it can now go and connect to the network and as you can probably s recording now as you can probably see on your screen right now you can see the little image in the bottom corner of what's happening so I am on a 4G connection at this moment so I'm away from my house it's not as if I am on the same network just to test the responsiveness of how it works so what I'm going to quickly do now is pan across to the left. And that seemed to be actually pretty responsive. So if I just step out here, you can probably see me pop up on the screen now, just here. And if I pan across back, you can see that's moving as well. So overall, this image actually isn't too bad. So I'm going to leave this out here for a little while. Um, it's going to get dark in about two to three hours time. So We'll come out here then and have a look at the image and see how well it works. So I'm just going to step away from the camera right now, uh, just walking away to the back of the garden. Probably see it on the image just there. And I'm going to go to the back and then I'm going to walk forward towards the camera itself. Not sure if you can hear me, but I'm probably about 25-ish metres away, maybe 30. Yeah, about 25 metres away from there. So I'm going to walk towards it right about now. And now I'm about two meters away from the camera looking directly at it. Just to give you a quick look at how this is at night time, you probably can't see me because it's very dark out here. Um, I can see the IR lights on it at the moment. So I'm gonna walk away from the camera itself. So I'm gonna walk away from the camera. So you should be able to see me popping up on the screen any second. So as you can see, the night vision, it works, you can see, but it's not really that. So what are my thoughts on this camera? Well, for $49.99, I think it's decent. The picture's fairly good during the day. The night vision isn't bad. I've seen worse on more expensive cameras. 
For the price, it's not gonna get you the sharpest image in the world, but it will be enough of a deterrent or you'll be able to see what's going on in the area. The main thing for me is the ability to pan and tilt. These functions don't come very cheap normally in a camera. Again, let me know your thoughts down in the description below. My Amazon affiliate links are down there with a discount code. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.